And hello again, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda on the NES. My name is Keith, aka Keithius, and when we last left off, I had just bought some potion. So let's get out of here. And we were going to go get ourselves a magic sword. Yeah. Here we are. Oh. Yeah, I've got my buttons backwards today, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, sorry about the problems with the last video. I was having some recording issues. So here we are in the graveyard. Here's a fun way to make some money. You pause that guy, you stun him with your boomerang, and you let a lot of ghosts out. Don't lose sight of him. Ah. Because he's the master ghost. All the other ones are invincible. And you get all the ghosts out, and you kill him. And then BAM! They all die! And I obviously didn't get them all out, because more of them are coming out. But you can get a whole bunch of money that way. Anyways, we're here for... Ah! The magic sword, which is, of course, up here in the top right corner. And I believe it's this one. Yep. Have I mastered using it? Let's find out. Oh yeah! Magic sword for the win. You know what? I have mapped my buttons backwards. My A and B buttons backwards, so excuse me for just one second while I fix that. There we go. Much better. I don't want to ruin my muscle memory here. <clears throat> I'm not using an authentic NES USB controller or anything here, so, you know, it's just a generic gamepad, and uh, I forgot which ones were which when I was mapping them before I started this. Actually, let's go back for one second. And, uh, oh, they're all over there now. And I had them backwards, but my muscle memory from frickin' 20 years ago, or whatever it is, that remembers. Alright, now we got magic passageways. These will help us get around a little bit faster, but for where we're going, we'll just take the long way. Ooh, fairy. <clears throat> yeah, so it was recently the 4th of July weekend here, and that explains why there was a gap between last video I posted and this one, so sorry about that, but, you know, I need a vacation too. So now we're off to level 5. Yay. And it's funny because level 5, we were actually just there a little while ago. Last episode, actually. Because it's... Ow! Over here. Remember our, our buddy up, up, up the mountain ahead? Yeah, that's where we're going. Ah, uh, run away! Rocks. Oh, stupid rocks. I hate you. And for some reason there's just one guy here. I guess he's the last one I left. Ah! I didn't mean to go in here! My bad. Sorry. Ah. Uh. Alright, so here we are, and if you try and leave, you just end up right where you started off. And you're like, oh, okay, well, I'll go down. Oh, no, it brings me right back where I was. Oh, no, I'm stuck in some sort of mystery land. No, no, you just go up. And up. And there we are. Ah! I forgot about you. Oh, good, he gave me a heart. And, for some reason, there's a secret entrance. But it just takes you to the same place as the ordinary entrance, so it's no big deal. Now, these guys. Oh, man. I hate these rabbits. Because they're annoying to kill. Oops. 
and they cost me money to do so. Now, I hear, through the magic of the internet, that these guys were in the original Japanese Legend of Zelda <clears throat> could be killed by making a loud noise into the microphone which was on the second controller of the what was called the Famicom. Uh, Famicom, thank you. <clears throat> but we didn't get that, but our English instruction manual, manual God, I can't talk this morning, um, still claimed that they hate loud noise. Which was kind of confusing, because then there's this guy. Dig Dogger hates certain kinds of sound. Hmm, okay, gee, I wonder what we're gonna get in this castle. Dungeon. Level. I'll spoil it for you. We're getting the flute. Or recorder, as it was, I believe, called in the instruction manual. There you go. And... Goodbye. That was pointless. These guys are kind of annoying. Shit, I'm out of bombs. I can't kill him now. I'm screwed. Um, okay. Well, let's go this way and hope that somebody gives me some bombs. Because <clears throat> if not, then I may have to um, do some backtracking. So, this room here, alright, cool. Got the stopwatch, and a clock, and five rupees. Nice. <sighs> Mummies. I know that's not what they're actually called, so don't correct me. And again, I am doing these levels entirely by my own memory. I'm not referencing any maps or anything. And who wants to bet that's on an island in the middle where I can't get to? Ah! So let's go back down over there. I don't bother lighting a room once I've cleared it of enemies. So I have a key, so I can go up through here. Set fire to the map. Ah! No. I'm just kidding. Hmm. Well, this is gonna suck if I have to go all the way back. But hopefully I won't. I do kind of need to kill this guy. So if I have to do any backtracking, I guess I'll just do that off-screen to keep from boring you out of your minds. And in fact, I may have to do that off-screen because looking at my clock here, I can see I'm already eight and a half minutes into this video which is appalling. I know other people have done this game in fewer videos than this. Ah, but there's some bombs, so I'm saved. And now that I have the magic... Oh, and even more bombs, nice. Now that I have the magic sword, these guys are nice and easy to kill. And it gets dark. And we go over. kill this guy. And he gives me more bombs. That's great. Well, I'm gonna have to stop it here. Sorry for such a lame episode, but when we pick up next time, we'll finish level 5. Ooh, exciting. See you next time. Bye.